Here it is. Sometimes I just have to tell myself to run a little bit more relaxed. My ears are kind of flapping. I have to find a way to unflap my ears. Tuesday morning. Only got about half an hour time before I start my first meetings at nine o'clock today. But still want to get a nice little workout in. First one of the day, and I'll get a bit of a longer one in later today. But even just the 30 minutes, it's so nice how it kickstarts the metabolism wakes you up, makes you feel happy. So yeah, don't have to always go out for an hour, hour and a half to run. Really don't. On most of my runs, I don't listen to any music or any podcast. I typically just go out and run so I can clearly hear my breathing. I can focus on the steps on the ground, make sure my breathing and my cadence are all in rhythm aligned and I feel whenever I listen to music that's not necessarily the case also I've noticed when I listen to music I've done some experiments on the track my heart rate can get up to five to eight beats higher just by listening to some upbeat music so occasionally I do listen to some podcasts here and there but the majority of runs it's just being present hearing your surroundings and being aware of what's coming up I have a slight uh, idea that today might be a warm run. It's uh, about 90 Fahrenheit, so that's about, what, 30 Celsius out. Got a few layers going on over here. <laughs> Get some uh, actual heat training. Instead of sauna, I'll be uh, running outside today. Let's see how it goes. I think I might have to hydrate a bit more because it's just one of those days. Ah, I killed it. Make sure we uh, don't get sunburned today. What's that? Resting, <laughs> resting heart rate 91. <laughs> I might want to get out of my neighborhood before I get weird looks from my neighbors again. So far, so good. About five minutes in, heart rate higher, 135. My ears are kind of flapping. I have to find a way to unflap my ears. <laughs> Bingo. Now none of the heat can, can, can go away. Definitely got a few weird looks. Don't know why. In the winter it's totally normal. 11 minutes in. Definitely have to slow down the pace to stay aerobic. But hey, we're not in a hurry. Just developing a sweat gland. By far the area I feel hottest at is my head wearing two beanies and so all of the heat wants to get out often via yeah, the head. The layers of clothing actually don't seem to bother me that much. It's just, yeah, definitely have to slow down the pace. Feeling very, very warm. The sweating is definitely happening. I feel it dripping in every area. But yeah. Main thing is, you don't want to overdo it. I want to really gradually build this up. I already have quite a bit of sauna experience, but don't overdo this. It can be dangerous. beginning when you just start out with these warmer clothing runs they're quite uncomfortable and within a short period of my amount of time your body kind of gets in distress almost panic mode what I found is if I do a few of these and I get more used to it these runs tend to become easier and easier your body adapts rather quickly and then the other thing from there once you end up running without a bunch of different layers of clothing on, it just feels like it's winter, even in the middle of the summer. Good times. Although it's not really good times, I'm saying good times, it's freaking miserable. But here's the trick. You just tell yourself it's good time, 
and you end up smiling you end up kind of laughing about yourself <laughs> yet it's all about that mental state if you say this absolutely sucks this is so frustrating sure it's gonna be a miserable journey yet if you're actually trying to find the enjoyment in the suck it ends up becoming a lot easier so yeah that's what i'm doing right now finding the enjoyment in the hot bag of suck it always fascinates me how fast the heart rate goes up when there's warmer weather involved even now i pick up the pace slightly because i saw little running group in front of us sure enough right away shoots up to 158 which normally never happens at this pace but yeah the layer is definitely slowing you down and it's about 20 minutes where I switch all of a sudden goes off it goes so much harder 35 minutes done and done that felt good definitely almost panic mode towards the end in a good way more like is it over yet <laughs> good learning experience now i can definitely not wait to uh, take off all these clothes oh made it back let's take all this off Still got more hard rate monitor on the rock. <laughs> Hopefully that one just didn't die. <laughs> oh well, take two. <sighs> so, that was refreshing. <laughs> now let's jump in the sauna and do it all over again. I just ended up getting two visitors in my sauna. The kids came to visit, so I ended up cutting it short. Probably a good thing I ended up cutting it short because I was getting pretty warm up there. All right, everyone say, where's Molly? Where's Molly? <laughs> I know, I don't know. Think about keeping your front teeth. Lost my phone. <laughs> Should have zipped up my phone. First the GoPro went flying, then the phone went flying. Maybe I should start zipping up my pockets. It's a nice fast uh, terrain over here. It's actually quite runnable, which is nice. I forgot my heart rate monitor today. So I have to go by optical only, which is fine. Going to be pushing it a bit harder today, more running by feel, so. Heart rate 158, definitely a bit higher. Sometimes I just have to tell myself to run a little bit more relaxed. On these drills I can get a bit tense sometimes. So once you run more relaxed, it just goes more flexible to you. This is a very long fart leg. <laughs> Are we there yet? Everybody the same treatment. Somehow these woods aren't very friendly right now. <laughs> What's she say? She's the guy. Okay. Alright, all right, Kevin, see you. Me. There's no freaking way I could keep up with that. 
it's just tap dancing. That's the difference between 37 and 21, or whatever Jesse is, 25 maybe. Look at that, that's the ocean, and that's the mountains right there. So incredibly fortunate to have these uh, epic trails in the backyard, look at that. This is why several times a week I end up going on the, on the trail runs. Good times. And now we've got to head back to uh, chase the daylight because we didn't bring any, any headlamps. So let's do this. Good job, man. Good shit. That's a good one, eh? <laughs> Look at that. Hey. Running with my friend Gunnar, getting some nice evening miles in over here. With the views over the ocean and a nice sunset. Doesn't get much better than that. Sweet. Here we go, run. All right. Have a good one. Morning skate, good cross training, good strength training as well. You're getting heavy. dropped off at school last night um, ended up running pretty hard with the group definitely charged it on some of the uphills legs are a bit stiff this morning the calves the ankles quads so just going for a nice mellow 40 45 minutes keeping it chill my plan for this week is to run about seven and a half hours and usually I try to split that over as many days as I can I did end up taking Monday off, so depending on how things go, I'll probably end up running the rest of the week every day. Anywhere from 30 minutes, 45 to an hour. Longest run is going to be an hour and a half to an hour 45. But yeah, I definitely am a big fan of double runs as well whenever possible. Even if that means 30 minutes in the morning, 45 in the afternoon. I sometimes prefer that over doing 75 minutes straight from a time limit perspective, but also I like activating my aerobic system more frequently, so. I usually try to avoid running paths where I have to cross a lot of traffic lights and stop signs. So I have a few bike paths that connect basically to the back of my house where I can run for 10, 15 miles straight without really any stopping, so. Definitely you can zone out more and don't have to worry about traffic that way. It's so funny to me how much temperature makes a difference. Right now I'm running about 6.30 minute miles at about 145 heart rate. Yesterday at 158 I was running close to 10 minute mile when I was wearing a lot of jackets and layers. Definitely makes a huge difference. Another nice training run done, followed by a sauna session. In the coming weeks and months, I'm going to continue building my training volume and make sure that I take a step back week every fourth week as well. I think I'm going to build it up to about 10 hours a week. That's about the max that I can juggle right now between family life, between work and still getting enough sleep. Obviously sleep being a very important component as well. Also going to be focusing on improving my nutrition uh, being a bit more strict about that and also keeping the stress levels low as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what other type of videos would you like me to make? Would you enjoy seeing more of these training type of videos? Would you like me to interview any specific podcast guest? I would love to hear it from you. 
Thanks and have fun out there on your runs. Later. But this is going to be a fast one. I cannot wait. I don't know if I should be here.